screen they'll just lose change winning at 4-1 to one. who wins it then Ribs? I think Classical Dream will win I expect Asturian Falange to go along um, and Sire de Burley you just can't rule them out Brooks Champion Stairs Hurdle 13 flights to jump at Somerville Boy and Asturian Falange who press ahead in the early stages followed by What Do You Want and Monkfish as they arrive at their first flight Landing together, Somerville Boy and the Grey Asterian for Lange, and now electing to move on in front as Somerville Boy and Rachel Blackmore. Building up an early lead of three lengths over Asterian for Lange and Patrick Mullins, followed by stable companion, What Do You Want, Sean O'Keefe. Another stable companion close up in fourth is Monkfish and Danny Mullins, and the inside is Tiapo. Now the mound of Darrow Keefe as they jump to the second flight, the end of the back straight, then meet and greet and Philip Benwright. On the inside is Classical Dream, the winner for the last two years is the mound of Paul Townend, alongside is Saad de Burley, Mark Walsh, and we're being the men is Ashdale Bob and Keith Donahue on board the runner-up of 12 months ago. Turning to flights three and four along the side of the track, and the field is Stacking up, it is Somerville Boy, followed by Asterian for launch. Monkfish has moved into third place, and then Tiapu disputing fourth with What You Want, and then Meet and Greet and Classical Dream. As they make tracks to flight number four on the approach to the straight, Somerville Boy, not so far in front of Asterian for launch. Monkfish didn't jump that flight great right in third. Joined for that spot as a consequence by Tiapu, red cap of what you want in between those two, and then meet and greet and classical dream. With the final couple, Ashdale, Bob, and Sar de Burley coming towards the end of their first mile and flight number five in the home straight. Then the Ladbrokes champion stairs hurt. Somerville Boy in the lead by two lengths to Asterian for Lange and the Czechs, and then Monkfish running the rail as Tiapu, and they're followed by what do you want and meet and greet. With the back three, Classical Dream, Ashdale, Bob, and Sar de Burley. Final flight next time, where Monkfish landed flat-footed in front of Somerville Boy. Maintains a couple of lengths lead over Asterian for long. Monkfish a narrow third from Tiapu, and then What Do You Want was followed by Meet and Greet, and then Classical Dream. At the rear of the field, Sar de Burley and Ashdale, Bob. Six to seven lengths from first and last, with the circuit in front of them. And eight flights left to jump as they go uphill to number six. The leader is Somerville Boy from Asterian for Long. Tiapu landed in a disputing third with Monkfish in between horses is what do you want? And then meet and greet and classical dream Sar de Burley has won from last and Ashdale Bob held up. Going now to flight number seven, bring them towards the halfway stage, Somerville Boy. From Asterian for Lange, Monkfish next. Then What Do You Want and Tiapu and Meet and Greet and then Classical Dream. On the outside, Sar de Burley. And his brilliant best, uh, Entry and Cheltenham. And Ashdale Bob continues at the rear of the nine runner field who make the descent to the next flight, which will bring them past their point of departure. Somerville Boy continues at the head of affairs. And second is Asterian for Lange. Then Tiapu, Monkfish, the outside of What You Want, then Meet and Greet and Classical Dream and Sard de Burley and Ashdale Bob. At the end of a circuit, as they turn to head down the far side the final time, with five flights left to jump, and it's Somerville Boy continuing in front. In second place is Asterian for Lange, who's chased from the outset, then Tiapu, Monkfish and What You Want, then Meet and Greet. Edging closer to Sard de Burley and then Classical Dream and Ashdale Bob. Very few changes in the pattern as they approach the first of two flights down the far side, this fight from the finish. Somerville Boy still chased by Asterian for Lange. Monkfish just in third. Continuing to take closer order, Sard de Burley on the outside of What Do You Want? To their inside is Tiapo and then Meet and Greet, Classical Dream and Ashdale Bob, although the back marker very much in touch with four flights left to jump and just over three quarters of a mile to go. Somerville Boy out over four out from Asterian for Lange. Tiapu continues to share third with What Do You Want? And improving still is Sar de Burley. Losing ground is Monkfish on the rail is Classical Dream and then Meet and Greet and Ashdale Bob. All in with some sort of chances with five furlongs to go and three flights to jump. Somerville Boy 
by less than a length to us, Darien for Lange. Sard de Burley moves up on the outside to join Tiapu for the third as they jump the third last flight. Then classical dream. What do you want? Meet and greet Monkfish and Ashdale Bob remains the back marker. Heading for the second last and Somerville boys relinquish the lead as Sard de Burley and us, Darien for Lange who jump on together. Then Tiapu moving to the outside as Classical Dream and closing. They're followed by Ashdale, Bob, Meet and Greet. And then What Do You Want who's dropped away along with Stable Companion Monkfish into the straight to the final flight. And it is Sard de Burley getting the upper hand. One off the rail, heads are Styrian for launch, continuing to close his classical dream. Dropping away the long-time leader, Somerville Boy, then Tiapo and Ashdale Bob. They come to the final flight, and three almost in the line, Sard de Burley. Here's classical dream, who lands just in the lead on the rail, is our Styrian for launch. And it's classical dream, driven on inside the final 150 yards. Classical dream in the lead, our Styrian for launch is rallying. Classical dream has done it again. Stadion for long, Sarda Burley, Tiapu next with Ashdale Bob. Classical Dream could give directions to the Punchestown Festival. It's three Ladbrokes champion stairs for Willie Mullins' charge, ridden by Paul Townen. Yes, what a great race that was, and Paul Townend has judged it to a nicety on Classical Dream. He bags the hat trick in the Ladbrokes champion stairs hurdle getting the better of Asterian for launch and Sire de Burley running another screamer in third position. He was in front much earlier today, Sire de Burley, but he couldn't quite last it out. And Ruby, classical dream, mercurial character though he is, has delivered once again. Uh, he, does, he does, Gary, and he saves his best for here. Asterian for launch has run an incredible race too. Mark Walsh committed Sire de Burley to make it a real test of stamina, or try to anyway, and I thought off the home turn he was the one, but Paul has timed a perfectly brilliant jump at the last gets in front and goes on and he starts then the last 50 yards he's starting to feel the pinch and he starts then to Ashdale Bob is staying on crown was too quick for Tahupu who's plugging away but he needed the line Asterian was rallying there the Burley was coming with him but he's just clung on to make it three Labrooks stairs hurdles at Punchestown and the head on will be interesting I'm fairly sure watching it Gary live that Paul was clear of Mark when he went to cross we'll see here now Monkfish has blown out or bounced as you can't. You probably could have expected him to do that, but as classical dream, great jump at the last over. He comes now, Paul, and the last fifty yards. You sense by Paul's body language that he really wanted. Jim Mark never stopped, so Paul was clear of him. He is not clear of, of Patrick, so he can't go all the way to the rail. Leaves just enough room for Patrick as well. No inquiry. Brilliant bit of riding. Stick, done. Put that with the gold cup and the Irish national, can't you? Yeah, it was a really, really poised ride from Paul Town and here we are coming down to the last what did you make of the move on sorry to Burley to send him to the front so early today um, I'd say he just found himself there and committed 